thank you everyone for coming. Uh, uh, as always, these meetings are recorded. Um, we post them on YouTube for people who uh, couldn't be here. Uh, but if that's a concern for anyone, uh, please let me know. It's, uh, we have a great turnout today, and so I'm always happy about that. Um, just going into the agenda, uh, introductions for new people, um, the board farm status, uh, funding OpenWRT projects, re regulatory updates, uh, uh, OpenWRT summit, and uh, purple stamp. Um, so I think that's it. If anybody else has anything else, we can add it at the end. Um, uh, introductions, is there anybody new on this call who hasn't been on this call before? Um, yes, I am. I'm uh, Walter Klukens from Success Home. Oh, hey there. Would you like to in just introduce yourself and kind of what you do and what your interest is in, in, in OpenWRT and Purple? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I was uh, with my uh, colleague, my boss actually, Wojtek Makowski, um, the, uh, of, um, at, at the, uh, the OpenWRT summit in, um, uh, in Dublin uh, last year. So okay. I've met most of you guys. I can put a face at least uh, behind uh, at, uh, at, to the voices. Um, I'm the uh, chief architect of uh, the Gateway of Soft at Home. We are a company that does a software stack for um, mostly tier one operators. So we've got um, a couple of tens of millions of uh, gateways in the field actively for very large operators. Uh, most of our software is based on open source, so it's not based on uh, OpenWRT. And we do have a strong interest in, in seeing that there is some sort of a solution and some sort of a, uh, well, actually a convergence in the, in the stack to, to help us not be so dependent on uh, the code that we have to write ourselves and to, to leverage uh, the, uh, the community and so the, the, the pool the resources between the various vendors. I'm the Wojtek is the is the CTO. I'm really the technical architect architect of the, the gateway uh, itself. Awesome. Well, thank you, uh, thank you very much, and we're glad to have you here. Um, awesome. Uh, board farm status um, for me. Of, uh, I have accomplished very little related to that since our last meeting. I was off on Friday and Monday, and I've had meetings, it seems like, uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday all day. Um, so there really hasn't been any change there um, So from me. Anybody else working on board farm stuff or, um, or anything related <laughs> to that? Uh, I wish I could give you some updates. We are working on it. There's just nothing really that at this level that's worth um, mm -hmm. contributing. Hopefully okay. uh, in the next couple of weeks. Okay, cool. Um, it, it, for everybody, uh, again, we, we do have a uh, an IRC channel. Um, it's not not super active yet, um, but uh, so if you'd like to join it, it's uh, Board Farm on Freenode. Um, we also have a mailing list we, we got started. So uh, not super active yet, but it's kind of like the it's the place to be, I'll say that. Um, but uh, if you're interested in board farm, um, in anything related to that, that's probably like the best place to do it. Um, <clears throat> funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, the big thing right now is the uh, TR69 uh, um, discussion. Uh, we're, uh, we've organized a meeting for next week for Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific. I still have to send out the invitations for that, but that's the time we actually set on. Uh, seems like there's a ton of interest. I was actually, um, I continue to be surprised that I had no idea there were so many people in the community that were interested in this topic. Um, so that's kind of interesting, but uh, so I think we're going to have to send that out as a general thing. It would make sense um, just to anybody interested. Um, because you know this this shouldn't be only a uh, you know big companies involved in this because it has such broad interest particularly. Um, so we'll probably discuss that and and I we've also kind of discussed the idea of having a face to face meeting um, with uh, a lot of the relevant people 
uh, just to kind of work through, there are now um, obviously Soft at Home has, has uh, you know, graciously is 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 making their stack uh, open source through Purple, which is uh, which is great. Um, so there, uh, there's also uh, I know Technicolor has has offered to open source their stack, and um, I may have seen one other. I think I don't I don't know. Um, so the, the big question is just get everybody kind of in a room to figure out exactly what, what to reuse, what, what possibility of, of convergence and, and for the stuff that can't be converged, having kind of a standard API to connect to, to open WRT, I think would make sense. Um, that's my initial thinking. Um, we could get to the meeting next week and we find that that's not at all what we what we'll end up doing but i think that that seems like a general uh good place to start the discussion um anything else related to that anything else other thoughts or questions um um we yeah, at intel we are also interested in joining these discussions uh, awesome. about the tr69 stack <laughs> so i don't know who will join but uh, yeah we are generally interested what happens to awesome. us. Great. That's awesome. I think that's, that's a great idea. One Andrew, of the other this is Art. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, sure you, I'm sure you have it planned, but uh, the idea of building a standard framework for integrating different protocols into OpenWRT, I think, yes. should be on that agenda per Felix's proposal. Absolutely. I was literally just going to say that. Um, great minds think alike. Um, <laughs> the uh, Yeah, the, the idea is also, um, Ed Felix proposed coming up with a way to integrate these these additional standards over time in a standard way to OpenWRT is also very valuable as part of that. Um, with obviously TR69 probably being the first example of, of that standard. Um, anything else anyone else was thinking of? All right. Well, uh, those are the big things related to funding OpenWRT projects. Um, the uh, I don't think we have anything on regulatory update. Does anyone else have anything related to that? Um, well, Imre had the nice article on uh, FCC compliance that just came out the other day. Yep. Yeah, I, I that that had yes. I think we. Yeah, we, we did see that. Um, so that was really good. Um, yeah. All right. Um, Open WRT Summit. We had a meeting yesterday. Um, uh, fortunately, not a lot of people could make it, uh, but it was it was a good meeting. We kind of discussed uh, the possibility of what day to do it at at ELCE slash uh, Open IoT. Um, we talked with. Uh, I got, we had some questions that people had asked, you know, what is some of the, the logistics and, and what are the, the, what are the possibilities for the days? Uh, one of them was the uh, Thursday, um, which is, I, I don't remember the day, the date, but um, Thursday is during ELCE open IOT and they, it, it would be the last day, last of the three days. It would be during the event, um, so there would be other sessions going on at the same time. However, we would be allowed to have um, we can still have people come in who are not part of who are not other don't otherwise have tickets to ELCE, which is extremely important, obviously. Um, however, uh, there would be other events going on. That's uh, I'm a little worried about that because I worry that there's going to be a lot of people coming in and out, and we're not going to we'll have trouble getting a lot of people there because there'll you know, be other sessions that people are interested in and things like that. Uh, the other proposal that uh, Linux Foundation had given us was the Monday before. So uh, the uh, it'd be the day before the, the event begins um, at the same location. Uh, it'd be on the 10th, I think it was. Uh, so uh, that would cost a little more. That's It's still very reasonable and there isn't like major issue but it is something we, we would you know is relevant um 
uh, I'm not sure there are advantages to disadvantages to both. Um, I know uh, Betta from CZ Nick had mentioned uh, as part of this, the as part of the call or and uh, in some of the discussion after the fact, the idea of it'd be nice if it was the day after the event ended, because then you could have you know you could talk to people during ELCE and people who didn't know about it would then. Um, you know, could be like, oh, I can stay for another day. Um, I don't, I don't know how big the big an issue that is, but it, it, I can see that being useful. I, I, Eric, I had an idea when I saw your email about it, um, thinking that I, I didn't know if it was would be possible, but if it's convenient logistics wise to have the you know take up Linux Foundation on the Thursday, the last day overlap, but have a day after that where people are encouraged to come together at some venue that is like a maker space, a hacker space, uh, you know, a space that could accommodate maybe not as many people, but mm -hmm. uh, people that want to get together and, and be more hands and more hands on or more, you know, the deeper dialogues from from the previous day the previous day would be a little bit more presentation focused with plenty of networking and then the second day would be completely uh networking and collaboration and you know roll up your sleeves focused a little bit a little bit of a hackathon kind of thing going on and somewhere in that area yeah. You're yeah, thinking? show each other certain things that you didn't have time to sit down and describe and go through code and talk about i don't know architecture and the way forward mm -hmm. but I we need a local we need someone in berlin who knows the area to to think what what type of venue could we you know could we gather at mm -hmm. i think i mean i think the my initial thought is felix would be the right person to talk to for that so we can try to bring him in for that discussion because i, I I would seem to think he would know. He would know that. Okay. Maybe I'll I'll just send him an email and copy you. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I mean it's, it's worth bringing that up so we have some sort of uh, idea on that. Having the official event on Friday is not possible. I, I'm not sure on that. I have to clarify. They didn't offer it because uh, oh, I okay. had said uh, Monday or Friday, and they just kind of told me Monday. They didn't really respond to the Friday part, so. Um, I'm not sure if that means it's not available or they just picked one and gave me that answer. I, oh, I okay. verify. Yeah. But no, it, it's a good question because it's possible just doing it on the Friday would be really convenient as well. I agree. Yeah. I kind of, yeah. Uh, and yeah, Casey probably talked to Felix. He's from Berlin and he probably knows something. <clears throat> yeah. And even if he doesn't want to sort of pursue it himself maybe he knows somebody else who could help us yeah um, definitely follow up on the logistics awesome yep so those are the big things to open wg summit i'd like to get the the days finally set preferably in the next two weeks i think i i don't think we want to wait too much longer um for a lot of you know it's good to get that information out there as, as soon as possible so um I think uh, we have a meeting set for next um, next Wednesday at our standard time. Um, we, we agreed to. It could be that we end up not having that meeting simply because we don't have any more information or something. Um, but tentatively, I think that's that's would be ideal to have that meeting. Um, so I think that's it for OpenWRT Summit stuff. Uh, per, the the one thing is is uh, and I don't know how much I, I added this here and I and I apologize Paul if if it's not something you want to get into right now but we did have the discussion um, about purple stamp a little bit yesterday and it's very very uh, initial I mean Paul is there any kind of like th something you'd feel comfortable sharing about that <laughs> or. Uh, I don't mind I think maybe. Um... If anybody has any particular questions, I mean, as, as a, at a very high level, I think it was already mentioned by Kathy mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Um, but you know, we've 
we've basically taken that idea and it seemed to overlap quite nicely with um, one of the projects that we wanted to, or that we were working on that we wanted to change slightly, <coughs> the creator stuff. Um, and so we're just trying to think through how, you know, this, we could take that in a direction where it benefits everybody involved. Um, so what we went through yesterday was just a, a few slides on the, the objectives that at least that I thought we could achieve and core principles and just raise some questions. And I think there's a, a few things to go away and think about before it's raised to the board. I think it does seem to lean to having a, its own peg um, in purple. So that would be the objective next, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's basically a, a way, if you like, of using what we've already done with board farm, what you guys have been doing with board farm uh, as a first step to say, look, your OpenWT runs on this particular platform and we're not just saying that it does actually run and pass a bunch of tests, which you can go and see the results for here. Um, and so that would be a kind of a purple stamp for OpenWRT on a particular platform. And then you could always expand that um, to other things with a kind of a focus on IoT as you put in brackets there. Um, seeing OpenWRT as quite a, a useful um, operating system for the gateway product, right? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very, very uh, initial discussions, but I, I mean, I think uh, you know, uh, Paul and uh, Art and I were all to kind of just look through the, you know, the ideas and that that uh, Paul had. And and I think that they're I think they're really good, but it very much focused on um, looking at all kinds of devices that people, particularly ones that uh, from purple members or or ones that are of of interest in the IoT area, and then you know, I don't I want I keep accidentally wanting to use the word certify. We're not certifying. We're <laughs> testing. Um, just testing. You know, does this does it have this feature and 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 does that does it work for this particular use case? Um, those kind of things. So. Yeah, perhaps yeah, perhaps the only thing which I I think is probably it wasn't clear from I think originally what, what Kathy was mentioning was uh, I mean we were planning on having something a bit like arm embed in the website so you could sort of list a bunch of um, pieces of hardware and you know say these are all um, your IoT hardware right uh, now I'm thinking that would there would be a a web page where you could just see all that stuff and then filter on I don't know operating system or RF um, bands or something, RF solutions, security, these sorts of things. So you can do those filters and sort of find the, the products that you might be interested in. And some of those filters, some subset will have purple stamps associated with them. And over time that would grow. Um, obviously the first one being OpenWRT. Yep, definitely. I, I think in uh, one other thing that, that might be relevant is, is in our initial discussions, this was going to be primarily developer boards. It kind of seems to be the the kind of the feeling that we're we're going. Yeah. Oh, did um, you get the list that I sent out, Eric? Yes, I did. I did. Um, so there's you know a dozen, maybe more, MIPS based ones that we personally looked at as imagination. Um, I don't think. I mean, I, I don't have prices on all of them, but we, we mentioned that uh, Eric mentioned that he wasn't sure whether, you know, if we had to have sort of board farms for all these various different types of tests that um, it might get expensive. Uh, from that list, I don't think there was anything too too bad on there. Well, definitely. I mean, the other other concern is is if if the developer boards are particularly expensive. Um for you know for the for the user i mean you, you don't want to have to have a situation where like almost all the boards are say like you know a thousand dollars nobody's mm -hmm. i mean that the yeah. value of that goes down quite a bit sure. to the to the user but i mean if if they're all under say like two hundred dollars that's starting to get to a, a situation that's more more feasible for a lot of people so mm -hmm. um it, it's it's very uh it, it's it's kind of similar to the things we had we had discussed very early on at purple and kind of through time, but it's 
it seems like it, it it's a good spot to really try to make this a, a real thing. Um, so I know that's not a, not a lot of detail for 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 everybody. It was a, it was a very high level uh, discussion uh, with um, very early on. But um, if anyone has any thoughts on that, I'd, I'd love to hear the or questions on this. So either we explained it perfectly or we explained it terribly. <laughs> maybe maybe a little both. I don't know. Um... Well, I I could I could um, maybe provide an analogy. A lot of people go to Open WT and they look at the supported devices table. You know, mm -hmm. lists different platforms and a few yeah. specs about it. This is kind of an expansion of that with maybe more data plus automated board farm feeds into the table. But but essentially, kind of Paul, like your table got started. It's these are the platforms and maybe there's more focus on reference boards uh, that aren't always easy to get, but it, it gives you a sense of what the board is, what the chipset, what, what's being run on it, what software stacks it supports, you mm -hmm. know, starting with a focus on open I guess. Uh, Definitely. That kind of thing. If there's any other dependencies that are, uh, are not notable, you know, like a proprietary something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, um, I think... yeah. Go oh. on, Eric. Oh, I, I was just going to say that I think that's that's certainly what we were thinking of. But you know, go ahead, Hauke. Yeah, in, in in the lead project, John is currently working on implementing a system. So um, <clears throat> we want to put uh, all the support uh, to boards into it and then um, it should be marked what uh, yeah and then it should generate some tokens to, so that uh, users can test it so they can they get an information that they should test an image uh, with a token then they can test it and mark what is working what is not working and so on and uh, then we want to have it in a central database um, also so that to give um, uh, use us the hint um, which device so when they want to buy something uh, what they should buy so what is working so we have, for example um, the wi not all Wi-Fi chips that are available on boards are supported so it could be that um, uh, the normal Ethernet works on your board but Wi-Fi doesn't work and so on uh, or is unstable or something like this so that we have a structured database with this information so it's currently been worked on. Um, don't know exactly the status. Um, hope it will be online in the next few days or weeks. Oh, okay. <clears throat> awesome. I mean, I think that's that's great. I think uh, there might be some overlap, and I mean, I personally would be interested in knowing more about it. Uh, yes, that was mostly all I know about it. Okay. So, yeah, the main focus is to have, um, yeah, to easier outsource the testing and to get more structured information about what is there and also to give more structured information to the outside. So, but, yeah, also to help people when they want to buy a device. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when they look into the spec of the device um, and what, what of these features are actually supported by OMWRT and which is not supported, what is not supported. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think that's great. Um, well, that's, that's the end of the agenda that I had. Is there any other discussion that uh, people want to bring up? Okay, well, uh, I guess then uh, we should uh, we will uh, close the meeting. We'll have a uh, you know our, our meeting again next week at our standard uh, nine a.m. Pacific time, um, and uh, that uh, should go well. So, should be it. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Right. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.